By the time they're old enough to say choo choo, millions of kids are fans of Thomas the Tank Engine on PBS. Now the daytime hit is about to chug into prime time with a new special. Thomas the Tank Engine it's the true story of a little engine that could, could achieve stardom on PBS's Shining Time Station, could launch his own best-selling line of home videos and merchandise, and could capture the hearts of kids everywhere. I like Thomas because he was, um, he's smart. Because I like trains. Choo -choo. For Thomas, chugging along that fast track to success means long hours spent on this London soundstage. Here, a miniature set has been built to accommodate planes, trains, and automobiles. And director David Mitten gave us a look at how he helps Thomas and company steam up the small screen. They all have different expressions for whatever they're handling at the time. And so the servos inside there control his eyes, as you can see. So if he's a, he can go do a silly little thing. Left and right, and of course, up and down, and action. Using this lens, which my cameraman and I designed up together, it can track with the engine, along the engine tracks as well, alongside it, with it, fly over it, fly over bridges and track with it. It can do anything. Well, bust my boiler, said Thomas the Tank Engine. But forget all that technical wizardry. Thomas's creator, Britt Allcroft, says for kids, the appeal of this engine isn't mechanical, it's magical. They relate to what happens with, uh, with all the characters, and they love trains. I think everybody all over the world, whatever their age, responds to the sound of a train whistle. George Carlin plays Mr. Conductor in the Shining Time Station family special, Once Upon a Time, which airs tomorrow on PBS.